I just want to show you real quick how to do uh, playback and live view. So let's start with live view. And over here on the left hand side, you're going to see uh, your cameras. And you can just click and drag into the uh, different windows. Um, so eventually they'll load. Here they are. And if it's super blurry like this, just right click and go down to stream type and then click on mainstream. And that'll clear it up a little bit for you. Um, that way you're not looking at a really blurry picture. Same thing with this camera. Um, basically what this is telling us is either I don't have enough internet access at uh, my building or uh, the, the building where the cameras are don't have enough internet, internet access. So it's just kind of slow and that's why the picture quality goes down a little bit. Um, so that's how you do live view. Um, so we're going to close out of this and now let's go to playback. Um, in order to play back a camera, um, it's always best to just select one camera. You can select multiple cameras to play back at a time, um, but it's always faster just to do one camera. So in this example, I'll just show you four, um, but keep in mind you might want to do just one in the future if you're remote because of slow internet speeds. So here on the timeline, um, sorry, not the timeline. On the calendar, we can select which date we want to search. And then on the timeline here, this is all in military format. So 12 is, of course, 12 p.m. Uh, 1400 hours is uh, 2 p.m., I think. So click anywhere on the timeline that you want to play the video, and it'll start playing. Um, if you click this button here, it'll do what's called um, a normal playback. And so it'll just play everything at the same time. You do need to hit the play button here in order to actually make things play um, when you're doing synchronized playback. So what synchronized playback means is that if you look at the timestamps, all the timestamps are the same. So you're watching all of the cameras at the exact same time. Again, if you're you know in Europe or somewhere else, you know, this may not run very smoothly if you've got a bad internet connection, but if you're at home, it should run just fine. And so uh, that's just kind of how it works. Um, so that's a brief overview of how to view live video footage, adjust the resolution, and do a playback. Keep in mind one other thing. If you want to change the date, just go over here to the calendar again and select a different uh, date. And so here we're on April 2nd, and we can click on the timeline and click play again, and all of the cameras will start playing again. So once you learn how to use it, it's really pretty easy to use, um, but there's a lot of different things to know. So uh, you kind of just have to take your time and learn them piece by piece. But we'll do these videos as much as you need in order to help you understand how to use the, uh, the camera system.